My name is Anthony Johnson and I'm an integrations engineer here at ZoomInfo. In this video, we're going to discuss the ZoomInfo filter and specifically what to do if your users are coming to you saying that the filter option is not working correctly. And so what do I mean by that? Well, in the ZoomInfo advanced search option, users, when they build a list, have the ability to exclude from that said list any records that currently exist within your HubSpot CRM or they can have the list include only records that exist within the CRM. If the record exists within the CRM, they'll see an orange icon next to their name. And if the record does not exist within their HubSpot, there will be no icon at all. Now, if your users are experiencing some difficulties with this, more than likely it has to do with their permission sets inside of your HubSpot CRM. And so inside the HubSpot integration guide, that we provide, the set user permission sets in HubSpot goes over in detail specifically the settings that need to be applied to the users that are using the HubSpot and ZoomInfo integration in order for them to be able to fully utilize all of the features within that set integration. And so let me show you what we'll need to do in order to make those changes so your users can access that filter option without any issues. And so if we go over to HubSpot, we need to access the settings and we can do so by clicking on the gear in the upper right corner. From there, we need to navigate to the users and teams on the left and we need to locate the user that is having the issue. If you click on their name, it will bring up their user permissions. And the first thing we need to address is the CRM. Within that tab, the object access, we need to make sure that all of these options under the contact and companies, deals, tickets and tasks, Yours may say something a little differently. However, regardless of your particular instance, as far as the, the wording here, these all need to be set to everything. We need to give that user access to these objects in full capacity. From there, we want to scroll back up and click on the marketing tab. The thing that we need to change within this tab is the marketing access. That needs to be toggled on. Once those things have been changed within the user's permission sets, you want to make sure to click save at the bottom to lock that in. Now, once those changes have made, or once those changes have been made, you want to reach out to the user, have them log out of Zoom Info and log back in and attempt to do that same job again, where they have a search in front of them and they attempt to either include or exclude records from those results. I hope this video has been helpful. If you guys have any further questions, Feel free to reach us at integration support at zoominfo.com and I wish you the best of luck with the tool.